Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. If you work with databases, then you know that they often contain a large number of different objects. Therefore, it's sometimes difficult to find the necessary data or metadata quickly. But everything becomes much easier with DBeaver. We're starting a small series of videos on the search capabilities of our desktop application. And today, we're looking at full text search. For example, if you have a large database with a restaurant menu and want to find all dishes containing a particular ingredient, you can create complex SQL queries to do so. However, with dBeaver, it's easy to find all the rows you need using full text search. Let's see how this feature works. There are two ways to open the full text search. Go to the main menu, Search, Full Search. Use the search button on the right side of the top toolbar. We'll look at an example of how the full text search works using our SQLite sample database. You can go to the main menu, Help, Create Sample Database to get the same one. Imagine that your task is to find all the rock music mentions in your tables to create a new playlist. The word rock can appear in both the track and album tables. To find all these mentions, you need to open the full text search and enter the word rock into the search field. Then you can select several tables from the list with your mouse by holding down the control key. Since no additional settings are needed, you'll just need to click the search button. As you can see, you've found seven albums and ten tracks with the mention of the words you needed. Looks like the row limit worked here. Let's try the full text search again, this time increasing the maximum number of rows to 100. This time you got 52 rows from the track table, and we can understand that these are all existing mentions. Now you know how to use the full text search in dBeaver. And you can use it for your own purposes. In the next part of this series, we'll show you the metadata search, another useful feature for speeding up your work with data. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.